Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. We're inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. This team is following along with the activities of the Expedition 29 crew members on board the space station. The crew members are working through the early afternoon of their day on board the station, uh, working on various science experiments today. The crew includes Station Commander Mike Fossum, Cosmonaut Sergei Volkov, and Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut Satoshi Furukawa. Some of the experiments they've been working on include one that is studying the maximum oxygen uptake for crew members on board the space station. It's called VO2 max for short. It's also sometime ref sometimes referred to as VO2 peak. It is the standard measure of aerobic capacity and is directly related to the physical working capacity of an individual. And Station Commander Mike Fossum participated in that earlier this morning. He and uh, flight engineer Satoshi Furukawa also participated in an educational payload called uh, Education Payload Operations Demonstrations, where they occasionally uh, record video with educational content about uh, life and working on board the space station. Today's uh, recording was about uh, how the astronauts sleep on board the station. Those uh, demonstrations have been a successful education program for the uh, space station. Uh, allowing NASA to produce the physical properties such as force, motion, and energy in a microgravity environment. And uh, those are different than what are observed on Earth where gravity exists. And those uh, video demonstrations are uh, being made available online through the NASA Education Project and Central Operations of Resources for Educators, or core.nasa.gov. That's C-O-R-E dot nasa.gov. Some of the other work involving an experiment is what we see here with uh, Mike Fossum inside the station, working to open the combustion integrated rack to swap out a component in that for uh, the continued research inside that rack. It is used to perform combustion experiments in microgravity. The one uh, that has been operating in it is called FLEX, the Flame Extinguishment Experiment, which uses small droplets of fuel to study the special burning character characteristics of fire in space to help with uh, fire uh, extinguishment uh, technologies in the future. Another experiment being conducted on board the station is by uh, flight engineer Sergei Volkov in the Russian segment called a Coulomb Crystal, a dynamic and structural characteristics experiment with the Coulomb systems. Coulomb systems are structures following Coulomb's law. It's a law of physics describing the electric, electrostatic interaction between electrically charged particles, which was involved in the development of the theory of electromagnetism. The crew members also uh, worked together inside the Russian segment. Uh, Volkov and Furukawa did a test of being able to send high quality video or MPEG-2 files from the Russian segment of the station using the laptop, the network of laptop computers on board the complex. An experiment uh, running without interaction from the crew members right now is uh, a capillary channel flow experiment uh, that uh, is only needs interaction by the crew members to change out uh, components every once in a while or samples, and that uh, runs autonomously and is monitored by the team of scientists and engineers here on the ground. That uh, experiment is studying how uh, capillary flow is uh, different in space and hopefully to uh, use that information to enable the design of spacecraft tanks that can supply gas-free propellant to spacecraft thrusters uh, greatly cutting cost and weight while improving reliability. Currently, spacecraft fuel tanks rely on an additional reservoir to prevent the ingestion of gas into the engines during firing. The test, uh, are, uh, the experiment is testing the theoretical predictions for the free surface shapes and critical flow velocities for open capillary channel flows in microgravity. This is video being sent down from the International Space Station of that capillary flow channel flow experiment. It is uh, streamed real time to scientists here on the ground to monitor. The experiment is designed to validate the assumptions used to develop uh, the governing equations of capillary flow. The experiments provide the verifications for the flow rate limits and corresponding critical flow velocities. And by understanding 
capillary fluid flow rates and microgravity, hardware can be developed for pumping liquids from one reservoir to another without the need for an actual pump with moving parts. 